Hi guys, it's Jai again, and welcome to my channel in the next vi in my second video. Um, as I was like jotting down notes on what to do a video about next, I was like two weeks ago, and I haven't posted a video on YouTube for like three weeks already. So I decided to film again, and I was like sitting on my table, and I saw all my books. And I want to show you guys my mini book collection. It's so it's small, but it's four years of books that I bought with the money of my parents and my grandparents and my auntie. Yes. So <laughs> let's go to the shelf. So hey, you guys. Uh, I mean, the whole picture of my bookshelf is this, but I'm gonna show you to you shelf by shelf. Here's the first shelf, and I basically ordered them by color, so that's like Harry Potter there, since they're all the same, and then that's like light blue, dark blue, 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 and then yeah, that's blue, 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 all of them are blue, and that's basically the first, oh, it's cool, these are blue and white. The next is actually um, a red and black, oh, why is it black there? There, that is red. Here's like, here's the latest book I put on this shelf. Cause it's the latest book that came out of the store. Next is this, a green, violet, and black. Since there's very less violet, very less green, very less black that I have, I, I just put them there, and I'm gonna show them to you one by one. <laughs> Hi guys. Uh, yeah, starting off with the first shelf. Um, I have my seven books of the Harry Potter. I got the classic version which ouch, makes up the Hogwarts castle. Fun fact, I'm a Potterhead. And next is Son of Neptune. It is like the second book I've ever finished because the first book is my first book. Guys, it is so battered. This is the first book I, I read but it's not the first book I bought. It's basically the first book of the Heroes of Olympus by Rick Riordan. Yeah, on to the next, Percy Jackson and the Olympian, the Ultimate Guy. Um, it's the latest one I put on the shelf, and I I don't really read it. It's for collection only. Is I have the first book of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. This Percy Jackson Olympians, the Lightning Thief. Next is book three. Book three of that series. Book three, Titan's Curse. Next would be Nicholas Flamel. It is by Michael Scott. Next is by Nicholas Sparks. Night in Redante. Um, Nicholas Sparks, True Believer. Nicholas Sparks, Dear John. Miriam Defensor, Santiago. Stupid is Forever. And another Nicholas Sparks, Safe Haven. I read them all, guys. Next would be book two. This is the Mortal Instrument. I haven't read book from book two to book five. That's two years now because it's a girl's POV. I don't usually read that. And then this, it's a sci-fi book about um, people on other people's minds. Next would be this by Chris Evans, like. The dark ashes of a black forest but this is my mom's she likes inspirational books and it is the bridge by karen kingsbury next would be dustlands next would be oh a set that my dad bought again but yeah he bought this and it is the edge chronicle off to the next shelf so the, with the next shelf let me start off with this, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J.K. Rowling, John Tiffany, and Jack Thorne. And um, I haven't read it yet, but I have it. I bought it where the second day it was released. And then this I, is the first book that I bought. No, not I bought. By Tita Bond. It is Marga Martina and the book three of the, the Heroes of Olympus series. Next is Legion. About the Sea of Monsters, book two, Omar and Prophet. President Gordon B. Hinckley and there's book 5 of the Nicholas Flamel series the book 1 I showed you about the alchemist and this is a book I haven't ever read but I just bought it for 
for the sake of collection. It's Fantastic Beasts and Hard to Find Them by J.K. Rowling. For the sake of collection, guys. And hair. These three keep me up at night. This is Dan Brown's Inferno. Dan Brown's Da Vinci Code, my personal favorite of all the books. And Dan Brown's The Lost Symbol. And this is what I told you. Book 3 and Book 4 of the Mortal Instruments. And I haven't ever touched these pages because it's so virgin. It is virgin pages. Books. And this is the first book. Oh, sorry. It's the first book that, that I read. It's a true story. And it's also a thriller. Next is Christmas Jars. I love this a lot. You have to read this. Um, it's by Jason F. Wright. This is a book I only read for the sake of school. It's a Mice and Men by jo John Steinbeck. Next would be The Girl Who Heard Dragons. I don't know who bought this, but like, on my bookshelf. Book 2 of the starter. Book 4 of Percy Jackson and the, and the Olympians. Uh, Battle of the Labyrinth. And then, Return from Tomorrow. And this! I forgot. This is my classic book. Dan Brown, Da Vinci Code. Look, the name's there. Uh, I don't think you can quite see that. But, her name is Sir Paloma Cyril Jade Salise. Search her on on YouTube. No, not YouTube. Facebook. Add her. And the last book of the Percy Jackson and the Olympians is The, La the Last Olympian. That's basically what's on a second shelf and I'll see you next... No, not next time. But let's go to the third shelf, shall we? So, off to the next shelf. I'll start with book six of the Nicholas Hamel series. It's called The Enchantress. Next would be Fire Thief. This book is a gift from a friend and I have already read it because it's book three and I have the book one and book two. Next would be something, again, that I just um, bought for a home re reading report. It's To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Another book that I just bought for the sake of collection is Quidditch to the Asian. Next would be Magnus Chase. I love Rick Riordan a lot. I love his books. I super love him, so Magnus Chase, it's all, it's Norse mythology and Cowboys and Aliens. I basically bought this from book sale because I thought it was nice. I saw the movie, it's great, but I haven't really, like, read it. Books. Here's my draw. Next would be Decision Points by, yeah, it's George W. Bush. Next would be Personal Favorite. It's Agent Handbook of the 39 Clues. It's the only 39 Clues book I have, but it's like one of the best because this is where um, I learned how to write in codes. Next would be the book 4 of the Nicholas Hamel series. This book 4, The Necromancer, and the book 2 and book 3 is with Paloma Cyril J. Salise. The one that had the Da Vinci Code one. Yeah, it was hers and my... The Sorceress and the Magician. That's a book three and book two. It's with her still. And next would be um, here, Divergent. I actually have two books, two Divergent books. Eh? And one, my book one and book two. There's Divergent and Insurgent. The ones that were like old ones, the battered ones are with my classmates. I don't know where, where they are. But I don't really care because I still have this. Next, so okay, next would be another Nicholas Sparks, The Guardian. I haven't even read it yet, but I will read it. There's the reason why I have glasses, guys. Next would be two encyclopedias, I mean, small encyclopedias. It has small font and a very thick one. This is mine, since I'm going to be a doctor. So my mom bought me um, the human body encyclopedia, and since my brother really likes history my mom bought him history encyclopedia and here another virgin book this is um, the city of lost soul book five of the mortal instruments um, series but I don't um, really like read this a lot because as I told you earlier clary phrase POV sucks so I have the book four of the heroes of Olympus um, series it's the house of Hades and another one would, would be Blood of Olympus. Then, this is just like the last part in the version, but since I bought uh, the trilogy set, so add this on separate. And here, Virgin Book 2 Insurgent, since my Insurgent, 
but the third one is with my classmates and I don't know where it is. Or another Karen Kingsbury book. This is Karen Kingsbury by the way. She is a very good author. When you want to be inspired, just read one of her books. And book one of the Mortal Instruments, the only book that I finished. That is why it's why because it took me two months to finish this. Because I told you I hate girls POV. That's basically what's on my shelf and I and I hope you enjoy it and <laughs> as usual, if you like it, give it a thumbs thumbs up and like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye! Rose, if you enjoyed this video, no, don't forget to drop a like, drop a comment down below.